Hello and welcome to Annotated Medical Tutorials. Today we're going to be focusing on the lymphatic drainage of the head and neck. This information is quite critical and is of clinical significance in that when we are managing cancers of the head and neck, uh, let's say we've got a uh, malignant neoplasm of the head and neck, we have to do what we call block dissection, whereby we'll be sacrificing each and every lymph node that's draining from the area where the tumor is. So the knowledge of the positions of the lymph, lymph nodes of the head and neck and the way they drain is very important. And let's get into it. So I will start off by drawing the head and neck. Then I'll place each and every lymph node where they are supposed to be. Unfortunately, I'm going to be placing only the, money, the main important ones and then we'll discuss how they drain. So I'm going to indicate the position of the mandible. I'll start off with the condylar process. Then go down the ramus, then the body, and then to the alveolar process. And then I'll skip the coronoid process and go back to the condyloid process. If you want the full anatomy of the mandible, just comment below and I'll do it. So the first group of lymph nodes are actually here. And um, simply because they are found before the ear, we call them preauricular lymph nodes. And the second group of lymph nodes are found here at the area of the parotid gland. And we call them the superficial parotid lymph nodes. Let's move on to the third group of lymph nodes. It is found here at the area of the mastoid bone. And we call them the mastoid lymph nodes. Another group of lymph nodes uh, is located here and we call them the occipital group of lymph nodes. Then here in front, we have got a usually one lymph node which is found in the buccal pad of fat and it's found in the buccal area. So we call it the buccal lymph node. Then there is a certain group of lymph nodes here. These are what we call the submental group of lymph nodes. And then just below the lower border of the mandible, we've got a group called the submandibular lymph nodes. So now we're in a position to look at the areas from which these lymph nodes drain. So from the area of the scalp uh, to the temporal region, extending from the other canthus of the ear to the to part of the external ear, it is drained by the preauricular and the superficial parotid lymph nodes. Now the external ear and this part of the scalp is drained by the mastoid group of lymph nodes. On the posterior aspect that leaves the occipital region, being drained by the occipital group of lymph nodes. Now from the frontal region down to the zygomatic to the buccal, the lymph drain to the buccal lymph node which is found in the buccal pad of fat and that will drain again to the lymph nodes which I'm going to indicate in a bit. So I want to indicate the position of the tongue here and then uh, the tip of the tongue and the lower lip uh, all those areas drain to the submental group of lymph nodes and then from there the back of the back of node and the submental nodes all drain into the submandibular group of lymph nodes in this manner so all these group of lymph nodes drain into a deep-seated uh, group of lymph nodes called the jugulodigastric, and it is found anterior to the posterior belly of the digastric muscle. And this uh, lymph node will then drain into a deep-seated cervical lymph nodes called the deep cervical lymph nodes. And they are found around the jugular vein. So they are very deep to the extent that unexperienced people we, or people with, without proper medical training are unable to palpate them 
when they are swollen and this often lead to misdiagnosis so here on the neck i want to emphasize something we've got the superficial cervical starting from the anterior then to the posterior all these will be draining into the deep cervical so the deep cervical lymph nodes will then drain down and i'm going to show you where they will go inside the chest right so inside the chest i want you to take note of something on the right hand side we have got the deep cervical lymph nodes draining into the right lymphatic duct the lymphatic duct will then empty into the blood uh, at the junction of the internal right internal jugular vein and the right subclavian vein and then on the left side we have got the deep cervical lymph node draining into the thoracic duct which will then empty into the junction of the left subclavian vein and the in right in, in the left internal jugular vein so all the lymph will end up emptying into the blood and it will enter into the vena cava and that's it guys for the lymphatic drainage of the head and neck uh, if you find this video helpful please subscribe to this channel and click the notifications button so that we can be notified when we upload a new video and don't forget to like the facebook page annotated medical tutorials thank you for watching see you soon